Goosebumps is rated GB7 because it may be too spooky for Goosebumps fans under 7. All the money that was used, that was Fox Kids money, you pay it back by your own money. That was your idea. That means you pay for it. Everyone else most likely was like, yeah, you shouldn't do that. It's like, no, but I'm the president. Frick this, we're buying it. And you made Fox Kids sink. Fuck you. <laughs> Haunting Hour is different. I forgot which one pulled out. I think it was Hasbro who decided to be like, yeah, I'm parting ways with the hub. Yes, the hub network is coming to a close because we're Hasbro and we say Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> that that's most likely what happens is that we're Hasbro and we say Fuck this we're done we did a decent run we're gonna leave now and it's like what the frick what Hasbro what the hell even though I don't think it really was Hasbro because they still gave them little as pet shop and crappy transformers I think it was the other person it was the other party that went away but I think it was Hasbro because well if Hasbro still couldn't 100% stayed it would still be the hub network and again the haunting hour stopped with goodwill towards men or just goodwill I, I hate that freaking episode I have a freaking review on that episode that's years old and it's like I hate that episode I wish that wasn't the episode it ended with so it's like yeah all Arl Stein's stamped TV shows all ended by cancellation none of them never ended because they did great they did a victory lap too it was needing to end i mean haunting i mean nightmare room and haunting hour both of them technically could have actually have ended flawlessly because nightmare room most likely didn't have stories to tell they only had like 13 books and out of that only 12 were put in the episodes and they decided because well you know they always need to have a possessed toy they needed to have that in the cv show as well thanks Zach and cody you guys suck <laughs> uh, well besides that when it comes to all of it they just it just told us lots of stuff lots of technical things of how hard they worked how Fox was like, which makes sense why I didn't see the haunted mask. It wasn't presented here. So that's why the investigation still has to continue because there might be some episodes that didn't air here where I live. That's like, yeah, we had to have got it by VHS. And weird dumbass is calling me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there anything else? Um, Oh, yes, they broke up all the rules when it came to the kids thing. And sometimes they were over budget, which as you can see, that makes sense why many people were cut and stuff. So the idea of what happened to show, I mean, episodes that, I mean, books that didn't turn in episodes. It turns out that some of them are just that if we can't make an outline for the book, fuck it, we're going to the next one. <laughs> and that's what happened. And I'm pretty sure people are now going to get pissed off being like, how the fuck can you not make an outline for the first, the number seven book? How the fuck is that hard to make an outline of it? How was it hard? Hmm? Just like how is it hard to make Monster of Blood 2? How is it hard to make Monster of Blood 3? The thing is, is that some of them has to be said that's not what happened it's more the fact of they did the outline then they had to figure out the budgeting and budgeting fricked it over and that's why why not episode is existing today is talking about the budgeting the cgi wasn't up to par and let's see some episodes they talked about they talked about the haunted mask and how the masks were made and the ma other masks that was made were of course made for TV show alone, and they said, let's base them off the seven sins. What the hell? And amazing process of her having to make the mask that they cast her and they had to put two straws in her nose. Is just some stuff that was mentioned. Um, Terra Tower was a good one that they actually said that it was pretty done great, and it a budgeting shows what they can do. Bad hair day, even though people said it's uh it's a horrible episode. The funny part about it is the fact of how they actually got the rabbit to talk where you have to spray 
use a water gun and spray it with sugar water and for 20 minutes it was able to just move its mouth and it's like whoa okay that's how he did it because it strategy was made the fact of we use cgi but cgi costs too damn much we could use animatronics but mm. and then it's like well the animal handler said he can make it do it he could do what he do baby and that's what he did um mask mutant was just mentioned previous just small just the fact of oh holy frig because it's like holy frig man um they got freaking adam west and adam west said he'll never wear tights ever again and they were able to talk to the freaking agent and this is what he said is that he will do it but he gets to keep the suit <laughs> oh my gosh so we now know where the suit is it's now in this state of adam west which means if you're able to go to an auction someday for adam west's stuff the costume is in his closet whoever owns it now in his estate they have it <laughs> oh my gosh that, that's pretty funny that's pretty funny they mentioned about slappy and the fact that he was an animatronic but sometimes had glitches and the girl who was small who played him it's like yeah so a girl played slappy and did the walking stuff she was very very good at it so that was pretty awesome to hear um they mentioned be careful what you wish for but they didn't actually mention it as a, a an episode up that they wanted to talk about let's see is there anything else i think that's about all so everyone had a good experience um oh yeah um when Catherine long actually showed up and premiered and stuff boy it's like the freaking celebrity happened there it's like yeah it's like good lord lots of celebrity it's like no one else actually talked about the celebrity only she did because she was the only one they chose besides the boy from Terra tower and of course Catherine long or sorry Catherine short but she was the one that actually had the freaking issue of boys going crazy. The dude that was like, I had to, I had to actually change my number. He's like, he had to freaking unlist his number because all the boys call and say, Hey, can I have Catherine Long's number? It's like, Holy frick. Well, she's married now. Good luck with that. <laughs> it's like, good luck with that, man. <laughs> But yeah, people went crazy on that. And it's like, yeah, wait until you actually ask Jamie Jo Johnson how it was being a Pink Ranger of Power Rangers. She has a story to tell you. She's like, frick. <laughs> my goodness. So it's like, yeah, my goodness on that. Um, anything else? I think that's about all besides the third episode of Night Living Dummy. They said that was a decent time. But I think it was more just, again, because they had to hire a little actor and looking at it for like a third or fourth time years later it's like yeah he grew as a person it's like you can't really it's not seamless of how he's big he's small he's big he's small and it's like yeah even though you got a short person to play him he was still too big for his own good technically sorry to be a jerk but i'm just saying uh I think there's about everything that's need to be mentioned. Of course, just a big bombshell of if they can't make an outline for the book, they skip the book and said, fuck you, which is like, so you're, you're telling me all the short stories they chose instead of the actual books. That's the reason why. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Perfect School. Perfect School, actually, they had to do a lot of cuts and it turned into 13, I mean, 36 minutes and they were like oh well we gotta make it a part two because well there's more that we can tell to the story so it grew to two parters a two-parter uh apparently there is a interesting version of werewolf skin uh, werewolf skin got rewritten the haunted mass technically has a creepier version of itself which is like uh so again, yeah, um, you're a jerk for freaking ruining my investigation. Just the fact of it turns out, no, it's, it's not a lost episode. But I'm like, still, though, it doesn't make sense that you decide to say, well, if we can't outline it, we can't actually do the episode. We're moving on. Anyways, guys, have a scary day. Have a scary night.